The National Assembly sitting ended prematurely after chaos rocked the session following Speaker Moses Wetangula's ruling that declared Kenya Kwanzaa as the House Majority Party. Wetangula ratified the defection of 14 members of parliament from Azimio to Kenya Kwanzaa, claiming the Azimio coalition agreement was prohibitive to rights of association and political rights. The decision, which moved the number of legislators in Kenya Kwanzaa to 179 members against Azimio's 157, rattled the Azimio camp. Chaos momentarily rocked the National Assembly session, forcing an early adjournment as the Azimio Lomoja contested the declaration of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance as the dominant party in the National Assembly. House Speaker Moses Wetangula affirmed the defections of 14 MPs from MDG, Mandeleo Chapchap, Chap, Pamoja Africa Alliance and UDM parties. Former Azimio affiliates that dumped the coalition for Kenya Kwanzaa, despite the coalition agreement binding them at least up to three months after the elections. With the 14 members, the membership of the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition stands at 179 members, while the membership of the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya coalition party stands at 157 members. This by implication indicates that the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition is the majority party, and the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya coalition party is the minority party in this house. Kikuyu MP Kimani Shungwa now becomes the majority leader to be deputized by Kilifi North MP Owen Bayer. Silvana Sosoro becomes the majority whip deputized by Naomi Wako, the Marasabit woman rep. Ugunja parliamentarian Opio Wandai will lead the minority side with Kathiani MP Robert Mbui as his deputy. Suna East MP Junette Mohamed is the minority whip and nominated MP Sabina Shege as his deputy. Azimio protested Wetangula's ruling. This is the capture of parliament by the executive. It has begun. It is for the first time a speaker in his place is removing members of parliament from one party to another party. He has become the registrar of political parties. He is the speaker of the National Assembly. He is law unto himself. What we have witnessed today is dictatorship by parliament and through the speaker. Kenyans gave registrar of political parties exclusive mandate to manage political party affairs. There is no any other office in the Republic of Kenya unless it is the judiciary interpreting the law. In settling the debate, Wetangula claimed the Azimio coalition agreement flew in the face of fundamental rights and freedoms of association and political rights. While the coalition agreement had a six-month exit clause before the election and three months after the election, Wetangula ruled that political parties act doesn't infringe on the rights of association but stipulates election timelines to determine the election calendar that ceases after the elections. Fundamental rights of members of parliament is paramount to any agreement by any party and any other person. And therefore, that ruling is based on fundamental rights, constitutionalism, and the rights of members of parliament. Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance is neither dead nor alive. They don't know whether they are dead or alive. They are not sure whether they exist as a parliamentary political party or as a coalition. They also don't know. Therefore, it is that opaqueness <laughs> that the House cannot associate itself with. The form and structure of the Azimio coalition was also put in question. Speaker Wetangula indicated it acted as a coalition or party depending on the circumstance. This acid constructed the coalition agreement submitted by the Register of Party and the Minority Whip for harboring a lot of inconsistencies. The pagination of the two documents is also inconsistent. Page 1 to 22 bear page numbers, several pages with signatures bear no page numbers, and a paginated page appears randomly between an, uh, unpaginated pages. I'm inclined to think that these are superimpositions. With the leadership wrangle settled, the National Assembly's immediate task is the formation of critical House committees, including the House Business Committee and the Committee on Appointment, responsible for the vetting of the names of Cabinet Secretary nominees already submitted to the House. The House has until 3rd of November to clear the vetting exercise. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.